Hello everybody, my name is Cyrix and I'll be your narrator for today. We will be taking a look at level negative 4 of the back rooms, also known as carbon tunnels. Survival difficulty, class 4, unsafe, unsecure, moderate entity count. Description Level negative 4 appears as an infinite tunnel made out of materials constructed with carbon. A majority of carbon dioxide gets released into the atmosphere. Unlike the real world variant, the levels version is safe for breathing in. The interior of level 4 is cracked and highly unstable, making it a must for you to make it out as fast as you can. The level's lighting is faulty. Even light sources like flashlights will flicker with no apparent means of why it happens. Some people say that the smilers found in this level have gained the ability to do so, while others say it was because of the carbon-like atmosphere. This level is split up into four sectors. Sector 1 Sector 1 is the most stable part of the level. Carbon dioxide levels are really high and emit a sweet smell. Entities are not so prevalent around this sector other than face lengths and the level's own entity, Carbonations. This sector is where you start at and is the main area of the level. Around every 5 kilometers, an intersection will appear. You can either decide to go forward, back the way you came, left, or right. No air is provided in these intersections, so make a decision before you run out of oxygen to breathe. The level's walls are made out of cast iron, and lighting is at its finest. It houses items similar to that of space for unknown reasons. These space-like objects are safe to handle, with the threat level of these objects being low at best. Should one drop it, the objects will create a mini black hole, sucking the wanderers before disappearing from the face of the back rooms. Other weird occurrences within the sector is the starry ceiling. Nobody knows why the ceiling acts this way, but most presume it's due to the carbon dioxide levels causing hallucinations. When traveling far enough in this sector, a door will appear. Entering this door will take you to Sector 2. Sector 2 Sector 2 has low carbon dioxide levels, and the walls are made out of rubber. Entities here spawn frequently, but the most common in this part being skin stealers. The effects of sanity are deeply impacted by the low carbon levels and, for no real explanation, drains faster than normal. The sector is very damp and at times increases the carbon dioxide levels. You will be presented with pipes that spew water particles into the air, which explains the damp-like environment. Food can be found in vending machines and are deemed safe to eat. The vending machines, which fortunately enough, have hallways behind them that contain almond water. These areas are hard to access as you need to push the machines out of the way. The vending machines are typically heavy, so topple them over if pushing isn't enough. Strangely enough, doors can't operate properly. No matter how much you push or pull, they don't open. This can be explained in one of two ways. either ob Objects are behind the door, holding it shut, or it has a lock that can only be accessed from the other side of the door. The lighting in this sector is not great, as the lights go on and off at random intervals. Due to the low amount of carbon dioxide, the lights are not able to function as intended. Intersections are non-existent in this part of the level, meaning the sector goes into a straight path. Finding a crawl space will lead to Sector 3 and sometimes Sector 4, but isn't recommended. A ventilation shaft can appear every so often, and entering it has a chai chance to take you to Subsector 2.1. Subsector 2.1 Subsector 2.1 is presumably an infinite ventilation system. Not much is known about the sector and its carbon dioxide levels. There is a constant blue hue that shines throughout the sector and has been deemed calming upon wanderers. 
this calming sensation has made wanderers aggressive toward each other, and any encounters with these crazed wanderers is considered a death sentence. <sighs> the wanderers are seen with knives in their hands. As to how they got these weapons is still a mystery. The only exit out of this sector is via breaking any vent grate, which will lead to Sector 3. This subsector has the occasional fans, which give a cool breeze on anyone in the subsector. While this sector is strange in properties, it is an optimal travel tool to other levels in the back rooms. The ventilation system has little to no grime, and when it does, the air in the area will be blank. Should the blue hue go out, it will then be replaced by a red hue, said by wanderers to have no special properties in particular. People speculate that this is the day and night cycle for Sector 3, but yet again, it is still undetermined this sector should be traversed only if the red hue is emitted from the grate. Mm. Sector 3 Sector 3 is a cramped, bioluminescent crawl space that has a medium amount of carbon dioxide. This area has no entities and has little to no lighting. Flashlights are heavily advised when entering this sector. Something odd in this place is that the walls are made of some unknown stone that is cold and soft to the touch. Most people say that there is a day and night cycle here, but how to determine this is currently unknown at the moment. There is also a huge supply of food which ranges from chocolate to pizza. No matter where it is found, it always seems to be edible. Interceptions are very common and can appear every 50 meters. Unlike Sector 1, carbon dioxide is still present. These intersections can lead to other levels seemingly at random. The only way to exit the sector is via seeing a bright light source and crawling toward it. Upon doing so, you will arrive at Sector 4. Occasionally, you can find areas devoid of color. These spots should be avoided at all costs if you don't want to go to level 1.5. The space around you is 1 meter tall and 10 meters wide approximate. Studies with the walls suggest carbon monoxide can emit from them. These areas are usually found in intersections and are different to the normal colors. Walls that are normal are white while the walls emitting carbon monoxide are gray. Like carbon monoxide in real life, it is very dangerous to inhale. Your skin will turn pink with sanity going down at an increased rate, turning that wanderer into an insanity or wretch. In advanced, these areas should be avoided at any time. How these areas form is unknown, but has been theorized to grow mold over time. In some very rare instances, it just pops out of nowhere without an explanation. Sector 4 Sector 4 is the last sector anybody can come across. Carbon dioxide levels go all over the place. One time it can be high, other times it is low. The level's walls, floor, and ceiling are made out of scrap metal, paper, and cardboard boxes. Entities are extremely common, and the ones that can appear are hounds, smilers, death moths, crawlers, etc. The lights give off a faint hum buzz that can make you go redacted and make them feel like they are being watched or they are watching something. This sector is the m where the most death of the deaths in level negative 4 can happen. So it is advised to go back into the previous sectors or exit out of level negative 4 as soon as possible. The scrap metal ranges from that of cars, support beams, and electronics like phones, computers, and tablets. This is also the longest sector in level negative 4 without a doubt. The most explored. Almond water and food can be found under the piles and piles of metal there is, and it can be used to craft carbon masks. These masks are used to control the carbon near the wanderer so that they can breathe in the air they intake around them. 
Some dead bodies can be found under the cars, and these dead bodies have a chance to be metal itself. This phenomenon is still being investigated on why it happens. So far, nothing has been found about the phenomenon. Colonies and Outposts There are no colonies or outposts on this level. Entrances and Exits Entrances The main way to enter is on level negative 4.6 by no clipping. Another way is on level negative 3, but it is in concrete. Exits To exit, go into the colorless areas of sector 3 to get to level 1.5. Crawling into cardboard boxes found in Sector 4 to get to level negative 4.6. No clipping in Sector 4 will take you to level negative 5. Entering one of the intersections of Sector 3 have a chance to lead you to any level in the back rooms. Thank you for watching everybody, and I hope you all enjoyed something that I have written. I, take, I took in my heart and dedication into this level, and hell, even Pac-Pac likes it. <laughs>